Hey guys, good morning. All right, I wanted to talk today because I'm in the zone of this right now. So I was like, I need to talk about this. So when people have asked me, I started my first business when I was 21 and people are like, oh, how did you get into that? And, um, and the, what happened and what happens repeatedly is the opportunity came up and I want to, I was like, how, I'm trying to figure out how to best word this, but um, I did pull out a Sacred Creators card. Is the Rise card number 57 from Sacred Creators Oracle. And this is like rising to those opportunities. And if you have seen, I just did a post today of where um, I, I posted a picture of a speech I did on entrepreneurship to a bunch of beautiful uh, middle school girls. I think it was, yeah, it was like two years ago today. That was like my first big public speaking event gig in like years. And I had like for a while just like hermited myself away from public speaking. But um, that opportunity, my one of my best girlfriends at the time, she was one who told me about that event. And she's like, hey, here's a public speaking event. You can talk about your business. And it's all about, it's like a week of entrepreneurship for women. And you, you know, you can inspire them. And uh, you know, so that, that opportunity kind of came, like fell in my lap and of course, I was scared. I, I mean, I, I wrote about that in the post if you read it, but I was so nervous and scared and it was terrifying. And it was like public speaking, especially if you're shy or introverted or, you know, are scared of people or don't even like people, you know, <laughs> or social events or you have social anxiety. I, I had to push through that fear because I knew like as soon as she told me that there was a public speaking event and the girlfriend that recommended it, she's one of those beautiful souls that doesn't mind public speaking whatsoever. And I knew because of how afraid I was and that was like the only thing, the only thing about saying, wanting to say no to that was because of the fear. I knew I had to do it. I knew I had to go do it. And hi, Laura, how are you? Um, I'm talking about uh, rising to opportunities, especially in business. Um, so uh, when I first started, when I started my first business, yeah, the opportunity kind of landed in my lap, and I, ba I literally had to rise to the occasion. So, and and in regards to like whether opportunities do fall into your lap or you go seeking opportunities, it's like, um, yeah, hi. Um, if you whether you're yeah, if opportunities you know spontaneously come into your life or you're seeking opportunities. Don't be afraid to seize the moment and do whatever you need to do to make it happen. Um, whether, yeah, that's with business or getting a new customer that, or uh, having a, an existing customer or new customer ask for something that you aren't totally sure if you can do. If it feels good, but you are scared, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I mean, obviously if it's like against your values or something, you know, I mean, there's plenty of reasons to say no to things, but if an opportunity comes in and it's just overwhelmingly scary and you're not sure if you can totally pull it off, that's the magic, that's the magical moment of entrepreneurship <laughs> that nobody probably wants, I mean, I guess nobody really talks about. And it's like, that's how I started in business to begin with, how I became an entrepreneur. You know, it's like, there was a big contract that came up um, in my for my logistics company and that's and I did everything in my power even though I was only 21 even though I hadn't even I hadn't even graduated from college yet even though I didn't know what the hell I was doing at the time and didn't have any any experience whatsoever I still said yes and you know what that very first day when the um, that the first day of that business starting I think I did end up having like a small pan or I say small a small panic attack and thinking did I bite off more than I can chew can I even handle this and you know what it that first day was the scariest and then it smoothed out and I'm like what's happening today um for this morning for me it's like having uh, having some more opportunities like people reached out or I have reached out to them and thinking you know I'll just lob this over here and then they come back and be like yes and I was like oh gosh okay can I do this now can I step up to this can I step up can I rise to this occasion can I rise to this opportunity and I know how easy or how we can get into that mindset of you know like just letting the world happen to us or for us and just like kind of waiting for something to happen and it's okay to go out there and get it and it's okay if an opportunity does come up and you don't necessarily think it's perfect or you're not sure if it's perfect it's okay to just say yes and do it anyway even if you're scared you know even if it's even if you don't it's like you don't know until you try something and those, those opportunities come up for a reason 
And so I just want to share like all that soul growth, like that two years ago, me going to do public speaking, I was so, so scared. I worked like I was OCD practicing for that speech and it ended up being such a, um, yeah, lots of soul growth. I slept like the dead that night because it took so much energy for me to even do public speaking. And yeah, hi, I'm just talking about opportunities that come into our lives, especially in our businesses and rising to the occasion and don't let fear keep you small. So especially for like, uh, you know, tarot readers, like if you have an opportunity to do a class or teach or do something outside the norm, but you're scared, like you don't think you're ready. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like if an opportunity falls into your lap or you kind of just, you know, law about potential opportunities to people to see if anything sticks and they come back and they're like, yeah, let's do this. And it scares the shit out of you. It is okay. It's okay to be scared and still say yes to the opportunity and see how what comes of it. Don't don't stop yourself out of fear. And there's so much magic in that moment. So like right now, um, I'm actually well. I have a couple things work I'm working on, and I was just like so a lot of stuff just happened just this morning where I'm like I'm gonna reach out to people. There's a lot like some people I've had some opportunities pop up for me, and I'm like you know what I'm scared. It is it's a little nerve wracking, and I'm, I'm kind of anxious about it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. There's magic in that moment of just you know like. Don't worry about the fear, just take the the inspired action. The universe responds to the inspired action and don't let fear hold you back. You know, you, you can figure out a way to do it and don't, um, especially like with perfectionism, don't let perfectionism stop you. But yeah, just trust, like trust that like opportunities come in and as long as it's, you know, not against your values or doing something crazy, you know, something absolutely crazy. But if it's just like, oh, I'm not comfortable putting myself out there or I'm not comfortable being in a leadership position, I'm not ready. If it's something like that, ignore those, ignore those thoughts. I know they're just trying to protect you, but you need to take take the chance. Take a small chance, take a big chance. Um, it's like, like That's how easy and how difficult it is <laughs> or as simple if you guys have any comments please feel free to uh, I got a phone call okay ah, speaking of opportunity so yeah again don't if you have any fears around anything that comes into your life especially like if you've been in business and something new comes in or a customer yeah thank you thank hi yeah thank you for <laughs> coming back on but um yeah if there's something that has come in and just scares the shit out of you Please don't hesitate to rise rise above the fear and just seize the opportunity. That's how I've gotten, um, like with my first business, like I doing that for 11 years. That's how like I've gotten like awesome, amazing new customers where it was super scary to like kind of shift or adapt to their their needs. And you're like, okay, this is bit that opens up new worlds, right? When you say yes to opportunities, it opens up new worlds. And again, like whether yeah, if you get a public speaking gig or some sort of something where someone needs you to step up into your power and be be a beacon for them in whatever capacity that is, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid and don't and um I know that thing of not feeling ready. Like no one's ever gonna feel ready. It's like no one's ever gonna be ready, right? You just have to do it anyway, and you're gonna be ready just through the process. You know, there's not there's nothing you can do beforehand because I feel like everyone is already enough. You know, everyone's already enough just as they are. You don't need an extra this or that or you know like a course or you know a, a degree necessarily. And um, I just yeah, I just had to share because I was like to, this morning has been so eye opening for reminding me like. The magic is in those opportunities and just seizing the moment. Don't worry about any bullshit fear or not feeling ready or not having all your ducks in a row and just make it happen. You know, like, you know, just inspired action. Take that action and just allow it to open up your world, you know, in magical ways. And you won't even, it's just funny. And also a reminder too, um, do not burn bridges. Even if, especially with business, even if you have customers that have pushed you to the edge of your limits or, you know, or in whatever capacity, do, even if you feel very justified in just burning the whole world down <laughs> with uh, bad customers or, you know, or what or bad situations or whatever, um, it's very, it's been very, I've, I've, I've been in those situations where I could have told the whole world to go F themselves and I didn't and I stayed, I, I chose to take that higher road and stay classy and let me tell you how 
amazing that has been to not in the moment just tell people like exactly what you think of them you know like if you're you know if you're leaving a contract for a business but um yeah always stay classy because um what's the word you know because other people see that too whether you know even if it's just like a private moment but you know be, staying classy not burning your bridges you know like if you need to let someone go or cutting the cord with somebody or not you know or choosing not to work with certain people anymore or on how you work just allow it to go and you know send love and forgiveness but you know you stay high vibe stay on the higher path stay stay classy that does pay off it doesn't pay off to like yeah burn like if you burn a bridge you know, or, or react to, um, you know, difficult people, it, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to really benefit you in the long run, you know. Again, I understand if you feel, ever feel justified, but um, some of these opportunities that have come up, it's because I did not burn the bridges in the past when I could have told them exactly what I thought at the in the moment where I felt like I was taken advantage of or treated poorly. So, Again, yeah, having healthy boundaries, stay classy, seize those opportunities that come into your life. Don't don't hesitate over not feeling ready. And if anyone has any comments, please, I'm going to wave to every single one of you guys. <laughs> I can see this new, yeah, yay, yeah, hi, yes. And also in regards to, um, like, if you are, if you have big income goals as well in your business or in your, you know, in general, um, I guess this also applies if you have like a traditional job as well, but don't be afraid to like if an opportunity comes up and you do need to step up out of your comfort zone to meet the obligations or you know like ri yeah, rise to the occasion. Hi Annabelle, how are you? I was just talking about I have so many opportunities coming up this morning and I'm just ta I'm taking inspired action. I'm seizing the opportunity. And for all of us, especially for you, I know you're doing amazing work. Uh, guys, if anyone that lives in Denver, Evergreen Lane is doing an amazing workshop coming up. But um, yeah, whenever you step out of your comfort zone to seize an opportunity, just allow yourself to do it. Trust the universe that you're going to be supported. Just taking that step, even even if you are afraid, even if you don't feel ready, even if, even if whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, um, yes. So that's so true. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay, stay classy. You don't. It's not worth it. It's. I mean, and again, I know that feeling of feeling justified if you need if, of needing to burn a bridge. But if you don't burn bridges, it keeps everything because other people are watching, right? Other people that you might want to work with or other opportunities. It's kind of like they're watching you. So when you stay classy, no matter what, and you know those people that are like I, I've been around people, like other entrepreneurs that they are just so freaking classy all the time they will never I mean it's like just being near them you're like wow you just feel better being around them and just yeah like let, let other people if other people want to treat you poorly you just know you can you can make better boundaries around difficult people or you know ba bad people and not have to work and choose not to work with them but you don't need to go down to their level and tell them exactly what you think about them <laughs> it's not worth it but yes take it take those opportunities feel step out of your comfort zone I know it's scary but it's also worth it and also yeah for the income goal part of this so like, yeah being more visible taking yeah, being an entrepreneur taking new opportunities it opens up you and your ability to make money it's much more difficult when you're saying no to things and staying in your comfort zone It's much more difficult to hit bigger income goals so if you're ready to break up break up and out of a stagnant situation because saying no to opportunities in whatever form they are it's keeping you stagnant. It's going to keep you small. It's going to keep your soul like trapped and like you need to break through that. So uh, again, it's like once you do take those opportunities and realize what you're capable of and how strong you are and what you are able to do and accomplish and how you are just able to make this magic happen when the, when the universe just like lobs you a gift, it's like it just, it builds on itself and it helps, it just, it, your the flow, being in the flow is it going to come so much easier. Especially because like saying, saying no to things and staying stagnant is like saying yes to fear and yes to staying small. And so it's just, you're going to feel miserable. Like sometimes it's more like, I'm just, you know, you can get so tired of dealing with the fear and feeling like I know I'm capable of more, but I keep, I'm just afraid to do anything about it. So anyway, 
um, yeah, I hope that helps you guys for today. I'm like, I'm feeling very inspired and it's just, it's magic when all of this like comes together. Cause sometimes I know how it feels like you might be getting crickets for ages and you don't know if you're making a, if anything's working, but it's like all this magical stuff can happen behind the scenes. If, as long as you are staying, staying true to yourself and still putting your, still taking consistent action, still keeping yourself out there, still, still make your mess, you know, still relaying your message to the world. And just stay, please stay inspired and don't give up on yourself for, by any means, do not give up on yourself, please. And don't let, don't ever say yes to the fear. So, hi. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of coffee now. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just having a couple big opportunities. And yes, I could say, I could have a million reasons why I'm not ready for any of it, but, any of it, but I'm like, you know what? I don't feel ready, but damn it, I'm gonna, I'm rising to the occasion. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and... Yes. Yeah, so if there's any questions or any comments, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for, for hopping on here with me this morning. I'm got yeah, coffee. I'm going to go reach out to some potential new customers. I got shit to get done. I know you guys do too. So whatever's on your to-do list, make something happen. Do not be afraid to make it happen. And Annabelle, good luck with you. I know you're going to get this done. I'm so excited for you. And also, yeah, because so many people, you know, live in fear. Like, when you say yes to stuff, it, like, you know, because no, it's harder for people to say yes to crazy things, right? So just say yes to it. And it's like, it, it just, I don't know, it inspires everybody else. And it just, it, you'll be amazed at how, like, I don't know, it just, like, it, it opens up doors, right? Because everyone, will, so many people say no to things. So just, you know live live outside the box <laughs> so anyway um and also for any of you guys if you are working on anything and would like to talk to me about it i'm doing i have free calls that you can schedule in my profile so i would be happy to talk to you about anything that you're needing help on if you do have opportunities popping into your lap and i hope everyone has a beautiful weekend thank you for watching and please please do rise to the occasion take that inspired action just lob out opportunities reach out to people to see if you can get you know like if you can make that magic happen don't stop yourself so have a lovely one guys talk to you soon